就是这些。Hi, Cameron. How'd you summarize this one? From that, the fact that they had heard the strange sounds and then when and Doodle excuse, yeah, Doodle excuse himself yeah. from uh, the table and ran outside to figure out that it was a deformed little birdie that was trying to fly. Okay. It was like making a lot of racket as it was collapsing inside of the tree. That one dude that went into deep depression because like his friend died or something like that. Anybody else in between the lines? <laughs> That's it. Um, that was a to me because I could see it. Alright, go ahead, Fletcher. Is an Oriole Dreams personification? Trees don't bleed. Trees don't bleed. <laughs> right, so why does Alfie use that there? In your opinion. All right. Um, I'd, I'd put like a half empty flower sack for myself. Uh, that's what is it comparing? Oh, uh, the way he collapsed to the ground. Okay. Crabs. I can't say that word. Crabs are rustling off into the marsh grass. Right, so what is that? It, so what other advice are you trying to say this is? I know it is one I just forgot to mention. Are you talking about? Are you talking about the one that's an extreme exaggeration? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a third time people will be hearing this. It's what the story is saying. It's not what I heard from it. It's, it literally means the size of a chicken. It means he put it in a hundred times. And it means it's a literally. I thought of vivid imagery and sensory imagery. Why did you think of sensory? The sweet, the six smell. Uh, about the smell. The five o'clock above the chimney still marked the time, but the Oriole nest and, and rocked back and forth like an empty cradle. Okay, so you're saying that was what? A simile. A simile? So that's a comparison using a like ass. So what is it comparing? Uh, the oh, branch on the elm, or the, yeah, the nest on the branch on the okay. elm, rocking back and forth like an empty cradle. Good. In my head, so it was Okay. Okay. A screech owl flapped out of the box into our faces. Screech owl flapped out of the box into our faces. Yeah. Okay. I assume I have anything else. Alright, so how do you connect it? Your watch or something? Or beyond the lines? I could see it, and that was also like beyond the lines. Okay. How is it beyond the lines to you? Um, because I, I have a lot of morticians in my family, therefore, um, I've seen that white veil of death over people's eyes a lot. Um, the fact that they thought that he was going to die, but he didn't, didn't end up dying. I was talking about, I was just when you're um, persistent, you're not giving up, and eventually you can't get results out of it. Very good.